Operate out of your place in Him. John 14 verse 20. At that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. We are breaking down the various keys Jesus gave us to do the works He did and even greater works. We're doing this because Jesus Himself stated that those of us who believed in Him, believe in Him, we will do the works He did and greater works than those. And so it is uh, incumbent upon us to desire to do His works and even greater works. Every believer should be pursuing this. Uh, regardless of what your vocation is in life, whether you're a doctor, you're an engineer, or a lawyer, or a businessman, or whatever kind of uh, professional you are, a scientist, or so on and so forth, wherever you are, whatever vocation you are in life, you say, Lord, let the works Jesus did and greater works be done through my life because I am a believer in Jesus Christ. But what are those keys that enable us to move in that, to do those works? And we are breaking those down from the 14th chapter of John, and in the 20th verse, the verse that we read, Jesus said, In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. You are in me. This is an amazing revelation uh, that has been given to the body of Christ. Uh, the Apostle Paul, in, uh, in all of his epistles, writes about who we are in Christ. Jesus said, you will know in that day you are in me. So we need to understand who we are in Christ. What has happened to us because we are in Christ? Our whole identity has changed and who we are in Christ is who we really are. And as we minister to people, we minister out of our place in Him. In Him you are seated at the Father's right hand. No devil has a chance against you because you're seated at the Father's right hand. You're in Christ. Satan and all of his demons underneath your feet as a child of God, they don't stand a chance. So when you are confronting here on earth, you're confronting a man or a woman who's possessed with evil spirits, you have nothing to fear, nothing to be afraid of because in Him, in Christ, you're at the right hand of the Father. You're seated on the highest throne ever available. We are in Christ and we are seated at the Father's right hand. So every demon has to listen to you. Uh, they are subject to you in Christ. So as believers, we need to understand who we are in Christ. In Christ, we are the righteousness of God. That means we, can st we stand before God without any guilt, shame, or condemnation. And that's our standing in the realm of the Spirit. No demon can accuse us. No devil can bring any condemnation against us. We are justified. We are righteous. And so we just reject all these accusing thoughts and um, uh, uh, intimidating thoughts to get rid of it. You stand with boldness and confidence as you go out to minister uh, to people. You understand who you are in Christ. And out of that, and you and I minister to that, we will do the works Jesus did and even greater works. So as a believer, as you seek to do the works Jesus did and even greater works, operate out of who you are in Him. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, we just ask you that you will give us a revelation of who we are in Jesus. And that out of our identity, out of our position, out of our place in Him, out of our union with Him, we will do the works and greater works. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.